my name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is how can gases like helium escape Earth's atmosphere. So it's true that uh, the Earth, Earth's atmosphere is sort of leaking into outer space and an important thing to uh, know is that in order for a molecule to reach this kind of speed to leave the planet uh, it needs to be heated in some way. Now generally when you have a distribution of molecules, like a, you, know, you have a gas, you have a distribution of molecules, and therefore they have a distribution of speeds as well. Now, a lighter molecule, molecules like hydrogen or helium have higher, uh, faster speeds. So the lighter the molecule, the faster it travels. Now we also have something called escape velocity. Now, escape velocity is how fast do you have to travel in order to escape the Earth's gravitational pull and eventually go into outer space. If these light molecules have a speed, like your thermal speed, I call it VET, as uh, ambiguous because the terminal velocity will be the same. So if you have uh, a thermal speed that is higher than the escape velocity, and I'll name that as VE, that means that you can actually escape the Earth's gravitational pull and go into outer space. And this is practically the mechanism that uh, allows for certain gases to leak into outer space. Another way to get this heating and the, get this kinetic energy is from solar winds heating up this molecule. So it gives thermal energy to the particle and becomes kinetic energy and the particle can reach up to a speed that it exceeds the escape velocity of the Earth. Uh, the rate of leakage at this point is, um, I believe, is three kilograms uh, an hour per. This is for helium, uh, hydrogen, and for helium uh, we have about 50 grams. So we're losing hydrogen a lot faster than we're losing uh, helium. My name is Eileen Perez, and I'm an astrophysicist. And this is how the gases can escape the Earth's gravitational field. Thank you.